Okay, a little garden update from um, the Mega Life 21 uh, suburban gardens for people with limited space. Okay. Wind chimes are chiming. Okay, Sago Palm is doing all right. Here's the Thai basil. Got the sweet and cayenne, uh, cayenne pepper. Here's the Japanese eggplant. There's more coming out. As you can see, there's one. And uh, there's a little baby coming out. And here's another little baby. Japanese eggplant coming out and I'm very surprised. Oh, here's another one down here. Well, that's strange. Strange the way it's curling like that, right? I didn't even see that one. Alright, I did not see that one at all. Okay, this is the cayenne pepper plant. Uh, now, mind you, I use the aquarium water for fertilizer and for watering. Okay, as you can see, hold on. This is a big one. Cayenne pepper, still green, but it's loaded. I mean, it is loaded with cayenne peppers. Very medicinal vegetable, fruit. Okay. There's a little one. They got a cute shape, you know. Like a devil's horn. Okay, here's the sweet peppers. Sweet red peppers when they're done. They're called Carmen. These are immature ones. Okay, here's one that's becoming a full-fledged sweet pepper but they get long and red but they stay sweet we like to uh, cook these with Italian sweet sausages so it you know it tastes like you get in a festival with the onions and and the peppers and you know sauteed with Italian sweet sausages and here's the Thai basil is pretty good very aromatic my sago palm almost god I would say f maybe 15 years old still hanging in there Italian green beans now I'm going to show you something that happens over here when we have a heavy rain okay it's a unique tree with uh, red leaves we got some mushrooms growing here. Some wild mushrooms. You don't want to eat those. They could be poisonous. All right. Let me take a look at the cherry tomatoes. I've been picking a lot of them. On this side of the house. Okay. Very dry, breezy, cool, early August. That's the peppermint. I've been picking those. Okay. I've been picking these for tea. The garlic chives are doing well. Alright, more garlic chives. Shamrocks had them forever now as you could see I have a lot of cherry tomatoes this year okay cherry tomatoes many are green still so they turn red at different times all right I gotta cut this after I pick these cherry tomatoes I have to cut this particular vine but as you can see 
I'm not going to cut it since they're loaded with green cherry tomatoes. Okay. Oops. Hold on. There you go. There's some more. They get ripe at different times. Too bad they don't get ripe all at once. It'll save me in many trips out here. So when I pick these, I'm going to clip this because the Lebanese man that owns a, a laundromat in my town told me in Lebanon they clip the top of the tomatoes when they get too tall and it causes them to get stronger and grow wider and it puts out more tomatoes so after I pick this vine I will clip it so that's it